Hi guys, I'm David with MediaUnlock.net, and today we're going to be looking at the MindShift Rotation 180 Pro Backpack. Now, if some of you have been following along with the YouTube channel or the Snapchat or Facebook, you probably noticed that I've been traveling um, the last month and a half. I just got back in town about a week ago, and I was doing a lot of uh, backcountry camping and hiking over that month period uh, out in Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, and Montana predominantly. So this Rotation of Run 80 Pro bag is something that I was really looking into and interested in before I left due to the fact that I knew I was going to be doing a lot of camping and stuff. And I wanted a bag that was comfortable, that could carry a fair amount of camera equipment, as well as allow me to do overnight, uh, overnight camping trips. So I contacted uh, MindShift Gear and asked them. They sent this out to me to test out. This bag is probably my favorite camera bag I've ever used to date. Um, it is the sister company of Think Tank who makes amazing quality bags and um, MindShift has just, they have not let me down uh, yet again. So again, the sister company of Think Tank is the uh, MindShift gear here and they have not let me down. So this bag is their premium bag and what it is for is for hiking, um, even some uh, single overnight trips. You might be able to get a two-nighter two out of this. Um, I'm not quite aware. If you guys are interested in my loadouts, um, kind of where I take all the equipment out of the backpack and explain why I brought it and what all could fit in this. Um, I have a video that's going to show my overnight loadout, which shows you what I took when I spent the night uh, at hiking. And then I have a day loadout, which is a little bit different. I'm going to point it right here. And, um, and both of these loadouts, um, one again for overnight and the other one was for day use. Um, I loaded it out a little bit different due to the fact that I needed to uh, put my hammock and sleeping bag and stuff in here. Um, and I was able to take more equipment with my day hikes. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to show you um, all the ins and outs. And there's so many different things that go along with this bag that <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if somehow I forgot to show you guys something because there is so many different pockets and, uh, and different accessories and stuff like that built into this bag. So uh, the bag is actually one of two bags. It's, it's, it's one complete bag with another bag built in at the bottom, which is really nice. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start from the bottom and work our way up to the top and explain uh, the different equipment that you can attach to it, as well as uh, just all the pockets and everything that, that this thing um, you can put in it. It's a pretty amazing bag. So the really cool thing is, is that this bag is, as you can see, it is built uh, very comfortably. Um, you have nice memory foam pads. Um, there was one day that I went hiking for over 10 hours and I wore this and it was a 50 pounds. I had this at 50 pounds when I went out and hiked and it was very comfortable and I was uh, very, it was very easy for me to hike with 50 pounds on my back uh, with all the equipment um, that I needed for one of my day hikes um, when we were out in uh, Moab, Moab, Utah. So very, very comfortable padding here. So as I said, I was going to start from the bottom. So if you notice, there is a magnetic piece right here and it works really well. It clips in very, very easy. And you just take that magnetic piece, and pull that out. Now the idea is that these straps are around your waist right here. So um, let me pull out the other strap here. So if you notice, we have these straps right here and they go around your waist. So what happens is the really, really cool thing, and this is why this is called the rotation is you're able to actually pull this bag out while you're hiking and it will pop out in front as you can see while it's still connected to your body allowing you to be able to open it up and really look inside and get your equipment which is really really awesome so I'm gonna set this bag to the side here and we're gonna take a little bit a look at the smaller bag now this could also be used as a day bag without without your main bag here um, if you notice, you have a side pocket here. I put headphones in this when I was hiking most of the time. It was really easy to access headphones, but you could put batteries, uh, maybe a remote if you're doing any type of, uh, you know, uh, wireless trigger. Um, you can put a nice wireless remote in there. Again, you've got very comfortable padding. You've got the, does a great job. Uh, and then right here, when it's connected to the bag, or, or not, when you just have it on your hip, you can put walking sticks. So, um, or hang other stuff there. Actually, I hung my GoPro uh, on a selfie stick. I just set it in here and it just hung, it just hung out right here and it was really nice. Just, I could just pull my GoPro right out and I had the option of getting to my GoPro on the selfie stick really easily.
Um, so you have lots, lots, of different, lots of different connections on the sides. Uh, as you can see, you can connect different stuff and you can tighten it down. Um, so you, if you have uh, carabiners, those are the little clips. You can clip things onto the bag, which is really nice. You've also got a handle up here. Now in the front, um, you have a rain, rain jacket, raincoat for it. Um, if you don't, if you know you're not going to need the raincoat, then you have a little extra room right here on the front. Let's take a look at the actual bag itself. Um, the quality, as um, far as the zippers are go, they're very, very good. You're not, they're not going to catch, which is really nice because trying to re-zipper something or unzipper something and it catching constantly is very annoying. So. Um, right here is where I kept my batteries and other small items in this little mesh pocket right here at the top. Um, as you guys can see in the bottom here, I carried three lenses. I carried a 14 millimeter lens, a 20, 28 to 75, and the uh, 24 to 105 L lens, and my Canon 60 body, and then uh, I uh, intervalometer. Um, so you've got, as you can see, you have a nice, you have uh, pockets in the back right here. You have your main compartments here. And then you have um, a little bit of pocket right there, which is really nice. So you have a lot of room to work with as um, far as putting your stuff in there. So this, again, could be um, a, day, a day bag if you're just going to be out hiking and you just want to carry some equipment. You have an extra bag or uh, you have this bag right here. So again, we're going to put it back in place. So it uh, pops into place very easily. You just slide it in here. And then you got your magnetic piece that goes right here. Um, another thing at the very bottom, if you see, um, I, I call it Molly. I don't know what the exact word is, but it's called Molly uh, on military gear. Um, you have all these extra loops that you can hook things into. So the nice thing is you could get um, clips and you could actually hook in a, uh, a, a roll uh, for sleeping, a uh, mat or maybe a sleeping bag or a tent and you could get clips and you could clip it and then you would have that at the bottom of the bag which is really nice. So for overnight hiking if you needed a tent, I used a hammock per se, um, you could put a tent right here on the bottom which is really nice. Um, you would need some clips to clip it and secure it. Okay, so you have a pocket right here, as you guys can see. You can put stuff there, uh, water. Uh, I put, uh, I was using a slider a lot of the time, so parts of the slider, I broke down the slider and I was putting some of the smaller parts of the slider into here, which is really nice. As well, if you wanted to, you could put a, um, a tripod in here and then you have clips um, right here where you could actually clip in the tripod, which is really nice. Um, and um, so if you notice that, so you're able to trip, cl clip a tripod in here. I did not put a tripod in there, but that is an option. Um, right here, um, you have a bladder system. So I have a two and a half liter bladder. It will fit up to a three liter bladder. And as you can see, I've got my bladder right there. Um, and we'll just set that to the side. But the bladder will actually run up in through the bag and as you can see, it pops out right here, allowing me to run the bladder to the front of the backpack, therefore allowing me to get water, which is really, really nice um, to be able to hike and be able to get, get your water. If you don't need the bladder for some reason, I don't know why you'd want to hike without having some water. Very important to have water when hiking, especially um, extended periods of time. Um, you just have another pocket, a very deep pocket, which is really nice to put something into. Um, so we'll zipper that up. And, and if you notice, uh, these outside zippers are water resistant, maybe waterproof, I'm not sure, but the, uh, the quality of that is amazing. We'll do a close up of that so you can actually see what the zipper system kind of looks like on this bladder system. Um, I think it's kind of made so the water hopefully doesn't uh, get into other parts of the bag, um, therefore maybe um, hurting equipment. All right, so we have a side pocket right here. So if we zip down, we have a nice pocket right here. I put books, uh, a little extra clothing um, in here most of the time. I have some, some decent sized filters. I put some filters in here as well. So it gives you a nice, nice bit of room so that you can fit quite a bit of stuff right here to the side. Um, okay, so right here in the front, if you guys probably haven't figured that out, you have a nice tripod piece. So you're able to connect your tripod in and you do have 
a pocket to put your tripod in. And what we'll do is we'll pop this out so I can kind of show you what this pocket looks like. Very easy to pull this off if you don't need it. But if you guys notice, there's a little pocket here and you are able to put like your tripod kind of into that or at least the leg and then that will help secure it from moving and from going anywhere, which is really nice. Um, again, you can just pop these pieces in and very nice and secure. And we will put these back in right here. And then you have two more ways of kind of securing the tripod as well. Um, if you look up under here, you can pull this up right here and then you're able to pull down these pieces right here, will, which will help secure, secure the tripod as well right there. And if you don't need them, it's great because you can just kind of hide them. They just don't got a lot of extra stuff floating around, which is, you know, you have a million different things floating out. It can be very frustrating. And then the same thing down here by your side mesh. You can pull this guy out right here. And you have this piece and you are able to connect it on over here and then tighten down um, a tripod or what I use, I actually put a, a slider in here. A carbon fiber slider is what I used um, for the backpack. Um, I'll pop a picture up right now if I've got one of uh, me and the slider connected. And um, yeah, so I had a slider connected to this. I had set the tripod actually in the main compartment on the top because um, it was small enough. I just took the, the ball head off and just was able to set it right into the backpack. Um, again, we will keep working our way around it. You do have another side pocket here, which is really nice. Again, you could, it's got another uh, kind of water resistant, uh, waterproof kind of sill, and you have another really nice rain jacket. Um, if you don't need it, you have another pocket to put stuff in, which is really nice. And you could also take the rain jacket from the secondary bag um, and you can put it in here. It will fit in there quite comfortably and you have that extra room in that secondary bag if you needed. Uh, you also have another strap here um, to just hook stuff to. And uh, if I haven't mentioned, let me retighten this down. Uh, put it on backwards, but let me tighten this down so you guys can see. You also have uh, the Molly stuff again. So you're able to hook stuff too. What I did is for my hammock or my sleeping bag, I can't remember. I just connect, I have a piece where I could connect the carabine to and I clipped it into this and I just let it hang off the side of the bag, which is nice. So I didn't have, uh, cause I didn't have enough room in the top of the bag to put my hammock or sleeping bag. All right, so right at the top, you have another compartment to put stuff. I put um, snacks in here, uh, like cliff bar, stuff like that, as well as I was on the phone a lot doing stuff for like my Snapchat. So I also put like a couple of battery banks in here so that I could keep my phone charged at all times. All right, so let's flip around to the back. Again, as I mentioned, guys, uh, you have very comfortable padding, um, which really helps. This goes over your chest. So it gives you uh, added security as well. You've got these that go around your hips. So this is very much like a, a real hiking bag. Um, so it makes the long day of hiking. You have a handle up here if you need to pick it up by the handle. Um, you also have, you have so much stuff on this. You have two pieces here. What I did is I ran my, um, my bladder up through here and then ran my, my piece that I would drink out of right into here. But you have more Molly pieces. You could put a phone in this or other small items, um, which is really nice. Uh, you have more strapping up here which is to make, to make sure you got your shoulder straps exactly where you need them. Uh, and these come, the way these are set up, they come out like this really easy. So you can kind of set them to the side, which I really like. They don't like shoot back around. And then you can access this awesome little back pocket where you could actually lay down the backpack if you wanted to. Let's say you wanted to lay it down. Um, and you could get access more equipment that way. Um, so, uh, there's an insert that you can get for this backpack and I've got the insert in. I did not use the insert at all because I needed the, the room in here um, without the insert for other things. So you do have a little mesh pocket right here as you can probably see. Um, and you're able to put some stuff up here. Mostly I put like maps or paperwork into here. Just really thin stuff. Um, 
With this insert, you can unzip it. And this will fit like a 70 to 200, maybe a tad bit larger. If you angled it right, you could put other, other equipment into the insert right here. Um, like I said, I didn't really use the insert that much. So you can pull the insert out from the top or bottom. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to pull it out from the bottom. And just to show you what the insert looks like, um, there it is. So you can, again, get to the insert here. We can zipper it back up. And it does have a top piece. So if you were to come in from the top of the bag, you could access the insert from there as well. So like I said, I didn't actually use it. Uh, if I was going for more of a day hike and I uh, did not and I needed more equipment specifically for the hike like something like when I do some astrophotography I take a little extra equipment um, this insert become very handy and there's a lot of other inserts or uh, other other accessories that you can get for this bag as well um, that's really nice so as you can see now you have this huge pocket huge area that you can put equipment which is really nice uh, so what I kept in here is mostly like uh, clothing. Uh, I put a tripod in here. I kept up extra filters in here. Uh, a headlamp. Always, when I go hiking, I always have a headlamp with me because, and a compass. Uh, just in case you ever get lost or get hurt or anything, um, you're going to, you, you might, you just kind of want to prepare for the worst. So a compass and a headlamp are very important to have when hiking. Um, learn how to use a compass, by the way, if you don't, um, and get one and just carry it with you if you're doing any type of uh, you know, like again, we were out in Moab, Utah. We're doing some pretty intense hiking out there. So like a day hike, you know, a couple miles, local neighborhood uh, forest or hiking spot, maybe it's not so detrimental, but you know, some of these uh, big national parks, it's good to have that kind of stuff with you. So again, you've got, uh, yeah, you've got the shoots insert. There's two ways to ex access it. So again, we're going to, you can access it from the top as well, which is really nice. So as you can see, I can just unzip it and now I can get to it from the top. And this is how I put the tripod in. I just take the tripod and set it right in. You've got more mesh here. Again, I would keep uh, more uh, snacks and stuff like that in here. Uh, and you've got this big pocket that can fit uh, overnight stuff, which is really nice. So this is, this, this is the, the, the Mindshift Gear uh, Rotation 180 Pro Bag. Now it is a little pricey. I think with the insert, you're looking at around a uh, little over $400, maybe $450. So it's not uh, a super cheap bag, but so far it is literally the best bag one I've ever used. I do a lot of hiking. I do a lot of backcountry camping. So this bag being able to give me uh, my camera equipment and allow me to spend the night, if I really want to push it two nights under the stars, it's, you know, for the money, it just, it can't be, it, it's just amazing. Um, uh, you know, it's not a full size uh, camping bag, or I guess technically it would be like a full size camping bag if you didn't have the camera equipment, the extra bag built in, but you get two bags in one. So again, if you want to do day hikes or overnight hikes, um, you have that option and it's just, it's very comfortable. It's very accessible, um, very accessible. You can add all kinds of, it's very accessible to get to stuff as well as you have ways to add all kinds of accessories or added stuff to it. Um, again, if you can, you have so much room to hang stuff off of it, you know, if you can do a 60 or 70 pound bag, you really could probably do maybe two or three, maybe four days. Um, you just have to cram all that food in. You wouldn't be able to take as much food as you might like to. So this again is my review of the Rotation 180 Pro bag. Um, at, this, at the end of this video, we'll throw in a few clips of it being used as well as some pictures. And at the very, very end, right before we go into my little bit about Facebook and Twitter and follow us. Uh, I will add in a picture and you can click on that picture and you can go right to the website and take a look at it and see if it's something that interests you. Um, and you can read up on it and stuff like that. So this was a lot of fun testing it out. Thanks again for sending it out to me, Mindshift Gear. This is now my new favorite photography bag um, that I have and I have about 10 different bags. Uh, in my arsenal at the moment. So this is, this is the number one favorite bag that I have right now. So thank you guys. Um, we'll catch you next time.
Hey guys, if you'd like to check out our website where we have all kinds of fun and exciting blogs, videos, and extra information that isn't on our YouTube page, click right here. If you'd like to talk to us or contact us and kind of take a look at all the different stuff that we have going on, um, we've kind of funneled it all through our Facebook. You can enter our Facebook page right here and follow us or like us. Now, if you like to look at cool pictures and behind the scenes stuff, we do that on Instagram right here. So go on and follow us on Instagram. And of course, we've got our cute little bird right here, Mr. Twitter, and you can follow us as we do our short tweets.